Today, I'm excited to introduce to you guys a bunch of free add-ons and generators, all crafted by one artist slash developer using the power of geometry nodes to bring you a collection that's all about making hair, moss, snow, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, we're gonna start with this procedural hair system using geometry nodes. This tool will help you relatively take your hair game to a whole new level. You will discover a set of geometry nodes that will completely transform the way you design hair using the new Blender hair system. Whether you are envisioning short, long, straight, curly, or even braided styles, this add-on, in my opinion, can give you a lot of options. And the best part is how quickly you can do it. So using this generator is really simple. First, you need to set up a basic hair system for your character, and then all you have to do is append the node setups from the blend file and voila. You have unlocked the customizable power of geometry nodes. And in order to take advantage of that, you need to head to the modifier stack, or you will be met with a couple of geometry node modifiers offering you all the freedom to fine-tune every detail such as density, spread, the amount of curls, length, thickness, and so much more. This will, to a certain extent, help you make your hair designs really, really good. Moving on to the next generator add-on, we have an inflating text balloon script. And this tool does exactly what its name suggests. You can bring any text to life in a short period of time. And you can use any font, any style, which is really good. But customization is the key. And it couldn't be easier. Using this tool is really simple and straightforward. You just open the blend file and it will automatically load up the scene showcasing the script inside the text editor where everything is gonna be happening. You'll be met with a neatly organized code giving you a clear idea of what every variable represents such as font, thickness, resolution and so much more. And all you have to do is simply modify the defined variables in the script to achieve your desired text inflation outcome which seems really simple to me. Remember, the script is designed for Blender's text editor. Just open the Python file there and run the script to unleash its magic. So, in simple terms, this add-on gives you possibilities when it comes to inflating texts and letters. Whether you want to create something really fancy, or playful letter balloons, or something else that you can imagine or come up with. I don't know about you, but I really love how these texts inflate and the results we can generate. The next add-on we're gonna talk about is a procedural mass generator called Mossify. Mossify is a geometry node setup for Blender. The file comes equipped with the materials you need, and I think this will make it a breeze to add a touch of nature to your objects, because it can be perfect for giving your projects the realistic moss-covered look. As usual, using this generator is easy and straightforward. All you have to do is save the path of the original Mossify file and access it by dragging and dropping it directly from the asset browser into your model. And the best part is, this setup looks really good, so it is great for objects that are gonna be placed close to the camera to make sure that you're gonna capture a lot of details in high quality. And for those objects farther away, don't worry about that because it got you covered as well. Simply adjust the settings or just disable the geometry nodes while keeping the materials for a seamless workflow. So as you can see, whether you are working on a lush forest scene or adding a touch of nature to architectural designs or something like that, the massified geometry node setup, and I'm not trying to exaggerate, but it may take your project to a whole new level because its touch can be really, really good. The next generator we're gonna cover is also about generating hair. But this one is different as it helps to generate cornrows, which can be very tough and time consuming to make, especially if you're doing everything from scratch. The way it works is similar to the previous one, I mean the previous hair generator, but first you have to make a simple hair system and comb the strands of hair into the position you want. Then all you have to do is append the head that comes in the blend file and simply copy the geometry node setup onto the object. Finally, you need to head to the modifier stack where all the magic is gonna happen. You will find a set of adjustable values and sliders 
that will provide you with the necessary customizations to make the cornrows look exactly the way you envisioned them. These customizations are really all you need, as you can adjust the thickness of the cornrows, their length, density, and even adjust braids and ponytails to get the look that you are after. But wait, there is more. You can even add frizz to your hair, providing it with the extra boost in realism that will make it look believable. Still with hair, we're gonna talk about another hair generator, but a very specific type of hair, and that is braids, hence the name Braidify. Braidify is a procedural geometry node setup for generating braids, and it works the same as the other generators mentioned in this video. All you have to do is append the geometry node setup into your object and use it on that object. By doing so, you have unlocked the power to easily make braided hair, giving you lots of customizations and flexibility. With this great add-on, you can turn any curve into a braid, and you can do that completely procedurally, which is the best part. But this is not everything, because the magic of this setup lies in its versatility. I mean, in a short period of time, you can switch between an animation-style braid and a realistic-looking one. Now, here's the best part. Creating a great braid is really as easy as drawing a curve. With simple strokes, you can really create something that looks beautiful and really, really good. And this is why we have add-ons and generators in the first place, because we want to create something easily and save loads of time. And this add-on does exactly that. Anyways, as you may have expected, you have the power to make it yours with a variety of customizable variables in the modifier panel allowing you to tailor the braid to your specific needs. In my opinion, this animal can be great for animations, still models, or even high-quality portraits, to a certain extent, of course. From here, we're gonna go straight to snow. So, last but not least, we're gonna be talking about a procedural snow generator named Snowify. This generator will help you bring winter magic to any object in Blender or any Blender project that needs snow in it. All you have to do in order to use this add-on is append the geometry node as usual into the blender scene. And once you apply it to your object, you will have the choice to either cover the model completely in snow or manually define the areas you want to be covered. You can simply do that by weight painting those areas in your model to fully control the way it is distributed. But that's not all, because this setup is versatile as it goes beyond just snow because it is an all-in-one solution to add any layer to your surfaces. From dirt and blood to honey and sand, simply tweak the material and adjust the settings in the modifier panel, and voila! Your object is transformed with a new layer, giving your 3D renders another layer of realism that can help you work on different projects and create different results. So, this add-on can be great for creating winter scenes, fantasy landscapes, or any realistic elements to your renders. So guys, if you are interested in these generators and add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.